Number of points having both coordinates as integers that lie in the interior of the triangle, I will not do this question. I will leave this question in the paper if I have to attempt. Again, remember, I am not saying it cannot be done. It is going to be taking time. Okay. It is saying how many points will be. Okay, this is 0, 0. This is uh, 31, 0. And this is 0, 31. Obviously, we can make this and then count the numbers. And there will be a pattern which will emerge. But, but to me, this is a question I will do it in round 2 if I have time. Round 2 question because this is a question where I can make a mistake. Look at the choices. If you miss one case, you have got the wrong answer. I don't want to miss a case and hence this is a round 2 question for me. 2 small and 6, which are x meters apart. Take u minutes to pass each other when they are flying towards each other. And v minus to meet each other when they are flying in the same direction. What is the ratio of the speed of the slower insect to the faster insect? Okay, slower to the faster. Yeah, this train ka sawal hai na? Insect bol diya hai. Insect bol hai, but hai to ye train ka sawal. What should the answer be? If they are going to take v minutes to meet, okay. And so what is the ratio of speed? The faster the the sum of speed is going to be v plus u. Sorry, the of the the faster person will have a speed and v minus u. What simple sawal. If you remember your train concept, this is a straightforward question. The jugar is don't treat it like an insect question, treat it like a train or boats and stream question. Okay. If you want to do it mathematically, you can do it. I don't have an issue with this. You will start by saying if if you have to look at doing it mathematically, you will say they are x meters apart, they take u minutes to pass each other. Speed is equal to distance upon time. Or time is equal to speed upon uh, time equal to distance upon speed. So they are taking u minutes distance I am taking to be uh, d they are x meters apart so let me take it as x okay and what is the speed if I say speed when they are flying towards each other right similarly if you take v what does this mean x will be equal to u into and this means x is equal to v into s1 minus s2. Please equate the two equations and get the answer. You'll get the same stupid thing. Which I'm saying, bhaiye, train ka sawal hai, boats and stream ka sawal hai, insect ka sawal nahi hai. This is something you should be able to answer the question straight away. 33. Alloy P has copper and zinc in proportion of 5 is to 2 by weight. Another alloy Q has same in the ratio of 3 is to 4 by weight. Round one question. Mixtures, allegation, weighted allergies, I'm very comfortable. I will do it. Okay. If these two alloys are mixed in the proportion of A is to B by weight, a new alloy R is formed which has got equal content of copper and zinc. The proportion of copper and zinc in alloy S formed by mixing two alloys in the proportion of B is to A by weight. A is to B to Now, what is the ratio of copper and zinc in the first one? It is 5 is to 2. So let us work on the basis of copper. And we'll do allegation. Alloy P has copper of 5 by 7. Alloy Q has copper of uh, 4 by 7. If you mix them, you are getting equal proportion, which has got equal content of copper and zinc. That means copper in the final thing should be 3.5 by 7, 50%. Now, this is a jugar which I would recommend from a calculation perspective. So, what does it become? 0.5 and this becomes 1.5 by 7 and 0.5. So what should be P is to Q, the way, or rather A is to B, if you have A kg of this and B kg of this, this should be 1 is to 3. So A is to B is 1 is to 3, right? Now what does it say? We have to form alloy S, in which they will be mixed in the ratio 3 is to 1. So in the first one, if you look at copper and zinc, in P, what is the ratio? 5 is to 2. In Q, the ratio is 4 is to 4 is to 3, 3 is to 4, 3 is to 4, sorry. Okay. So I will take 1 k, uh, 3 kg of this one. 3 kg, instead of 1 is to 3, I will now look at 3 is to 1. So that means this is 3 kg, this is 1 kg. Okay. So what does it, uh, what will be this? 3 into 5, 15 plus 3 to the 6. Not plus, yeah. This is copper and zinc will be 15 and 6. 
and what is this? 1 kg? 3, 4. So what is the total quantity of copper you get? 15 plus 3, 18 and 6 plus 4, 10 which is 9 is to 5. How many different numbers can be formed using the digits 1 and 3, which are smaller than 1000? Regular question, no jugar as such, but start solving. One digit number, two digit number, three digit number, start checking. So one digit numbers will be only 1 and 3, 2. Two digit will be how many? If you look at two digit, two possibilities here, two possibilities here, two square. Three digit. Another two possibilities, two cubes. It's showing what, what you have to do. So similarly, if you look at four digit, two to power four, five digit, two to power five, six digit, two to power six. Now you have seven digit numbers also. Okay. Okay. What are the possibilities here? It has to be less than this. That means three cannot be taken. Only one can be taken. Only one possibility here and two possibilities in each of them. So another two to power six, seven eight numbers. Add up all of them. Okay. So add up all of them. What's the answer going to be? Two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, thirty-two, sixty-four, one twenty-eight. Sorry, sixty-four plus sixty-four. I'm sorry, not. Two to power six is sixty-four. Two four six eight fourteen thirty sixty-two sixty-two and sixty one twenty-six plus sixty-four one ninety. A regular question, no jugar as such, but just go through the process. There are n numbers a one to a n, each being plus one or minus one. If it is known that a one a two etc etc adds up to zero, then which of the four is correct? Very good. Assume. Look at simple cases. Let, let look at if n is equal to 2 okay if n is equal to 2 what are the what is it you'll get a1 you will get only two two terms if n is equal to 2 the first term will be a1 a2 second term will be a n a1 n is equal to 2 so the last term will be a2 a1 this has to be equal to 0 if it has to be equal to 0 one has to be plus 1 another has to be minus 1 but both are, but this cannot be 0 so n cannot be 2. So n is a multiple of 2 is a long choice. n is a multiple of 3, only possible is n equal to 4, n is any multiple of 4. So let's see if n can be a multiple of 3. a1, a2, a2, a3, and a3, a1. If this has to be 0, each of a1, a2, a3 can be plus 1 or minus 1, right? So, so what does it mean? It means the product can be either plus one or minus one. Okay. Anyway, these can be zero. If two of them are plus one, the third is minus one. Or if all three are plus one, not zero. All three are minus one, not zero. Two plus one, one minus one, not zero. So n cannot be a multiple of three also. Okay. Let's look at multiple of four. If it is a multiple of 4, what will we get? a1, a2, a2, a3, a3, a4. Oh, oh, color click there. Yes. a3, a4, a4, a1. The summation has to be equal to 0. 2 minus 1, 2 plus 1 possible. That means n can be 4. I can I say, no, no, this is 4. What if it is 8? All multiples of 4 should take care of this. No? Any grouping of 4 can be equal to 0. That means my answer can be any multiple of 4. This is a jugar which I would recommend by checking the choices. Choices said multiple of 2 check. Yeah, multiple of 3, multiple of 4. Mil gaya answer. Aage chalo. Quant ho gaya? One set of DILR. We'll look at that also. That's something that, some, that is something I strongly recommend you should do. Analyze the given data for exports and imports. Okay, exports and imports of rubber in rupees close from 2006 to 2017, based on the question. Now, graph the kya diya hua hai? It has given us exports and it has given us imports. 
वॉट इज दिस वैल्यू टू एटी टू एटी टू एटी सो जहां पे भी वैल्यू बाल पे नहीं है आई टेक इट टू बी मिड पॉइंट टू टू हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड वैल्यूज आर सिंपल ग्राफ इज इजी दिस आर सेट ऑफ क्वेश्चन इफ यू मिस आउट इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी एक्सेप्टेबल एट ऑल इन फैक्ट मेनी टाइम दिलकमेंट गो टू दी एंड quickly open the question paper button go to the end check out the dilr question first do this dile uske baad kuch aur karo ye to pakka karna hai average annual exports for the given period of 2006 to 2017 annual exports chahiye na exports is this okay so so let's look at what the choices are 210 230 220 290 let me take the deviation method let me assume with respect to 200 kahan pe hai so 80, 80, 30, so 80, 80, 30, 10. This is 200. So 0. This is 10. Sorry, this is not 10. This is 220. This 220. 10. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0,
ओके एक्सपोर्ट्स माइनस इंपोर्ट्स विच आर द फॉलोइंग ब्लॉक्स ऑफ सी एज आई विटनेस द लार्जेस्ट एवरेज नेगेटिव बैलेंस ऑफ ट्रेड चेक कर लेना ना आई एम नॉट डूइंग दिस वन आई एम श्योर यू कैन डू दिस क्वेश्चन लेट्स गो ऑन परसेंटेज डिक्रीज इन इंपोर्ट्स ओवर द प्रीवियस ईयर द मैक्सिमम व्हिच ईयर परसेंटेज इंक्रीज इन इंपोर्ट्स ओके 9 10 10 11 ओके लुक एट दिस वे 8 9 कोशिश कर लेते हैं मैक्सिमम इन विच ईयर एट नाइन नाइन टेन टेन इलेवन लेट्स लुक एट दीज थ्री फर्स्ट ओके एट नाइन एंड वी आर टॉक ऑफ इंपोर्ट्स इंपोर्ट्स लाइट बार एट नाइन एट टू नाइन द इम्पोर्ट है गॉन अप नाइन टू टेन टेन टू इलेवन वॉट आर वी लुकिंग फॉर नॉट दिस वन सॉरी इंक्रीज इज मैक्सिमम वी आर लुकिंग फॉर मैक्सिमम इंक्रीज इफ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर मैक्सिमम इंक्रीज ऑब्वियसली दिस गोज आउट टेन इलेवन इज नॉट एन आंसर नॉ बिटवीन एट नाइन एंड नाइन टेन विच इज एन आंसर लेट लुक एट एट नाइन एंड नाइन टेन टेन इलेवन इज नॉट एन आंसर दिस इज आउट so 8 9 is 52 260 this is 260 this is 280 so 20 by 260 or 2 by 26 or 1 by 13 this is 1 by 13 which is 8 9 what is 9 10 this is 280 to 300 10 so this is 30 by 280 or 3 by 28 3 by 28 will be greater than 1 by 13 One by twenty-eight, or let's say this is approximately one by nine. So my answer cannot be eight nine. Also, it is right now nine ten. And then the last year was ten, no, not ten twelve, thirteen uh, fourteen. So thirteen fourteen, we देख लेते हैं एक बार. Yeah. Increase of twenty on a base of two ninety. 2 by 29 will be less than 1 by 9, so this is not the answer. The first correct answer is oh, oh, what was it? Oh, yeah, 9, 10, 9, 10 is the answer. Now, my my suggestion always is going to be you should start the paper from the end. Okay, so so you should always start the paper by looking at the DI set first and then do the rest of the stuff. Or even if you start from the beginning, this is the reason why you need to leave the difficult question. Otherwise, you will not read the DI set at all. Now, if you look at this paper, what have we done? I'll just write down. What what are the questions we have done? Twenty one is a jugar. Twenty two, twenty three, again a jugar. Twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight. Okay, I'm, I'm sure you can do it now. So what what is it that you'll find? Okay, I'm I'm just saving time for myself, but now I don't know. All I'm saying is you'll find के भैया बहुत सवाल है करने वाले जुगाड़ लगता है and if I look at the my my sheet with me one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen fifteen question में जुगाड़ and that means sixty marks तो भैया साठ नंबर लेना कौन सा मुश्किल है and that is what you need to remember okay so with this I'll close the session Hopefully it was useful for you and if yes yeah bhaiya like kar dena na and uh, yes don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can stay in touch I'll be doing the other thing, other papers also which is 2020 as well as 2021 papers also similarly to show you how you could have got a high score in this section that's it from my side all the best thank you very much